Whether it's their big round eyes, chubby cheeks, or bushy tails, some animals are just undeniably cute. But don't be fooled. Some of the cutest, sweetest, most harmless looking animals hold deadly secrets. Yep, whether it's a cute koala, a funny looking frog, or a pudgy little platypus, if you get too close to these animals, you might not come back alive. So get comfy and make sure you're taking notes because these are some adorable animals that are actually deadly. Perfect Platypus In my opinion, platypuses are animals that are as adorable as they are weird. The strange semi-aquatic mammal has a beak like a duck's, a tail like a beaver, and fur like an otter. But instead of looking like a freaky Frankenstein of all these things, it's a pretty cute little critter that loves to frolic around in the water and receive tummy tickles. Artists have even made semi-realistic dolls of these adorable animals that make them look even cuter. Aww. But these adorable animals, which are native to Australia and Tasmania, also have another strange characteristic. Hidden on their hind legs, platypus carry a venomous spur. Used to defend itself, it injects between two and four milliliters of venom into its attacker's bloodstream. Uh, I don't think that's a feature the dolls come with. <laughs> At least I really hope it isn't. Fortunately, it's only males who possess this deadly ability, with females carrying rudimentary spurs that fall off a year into their lives. This means all puggles, which is the hilariously adorable name for a baby platypus, are born with their venomous development. But depending what's on the receiving end of this spur, the results can be lethal. Now I know what you're thinking. Could a platypus spur kill me? Well, as a matter of fact, no. But for small animals like a dog, for example, it could take just one dose to finish them off. But even though you're not a dog, you don't want a platypus to attack you. The pain from this venom is apparently very intense. So strong, in fact, that one study reported that it doesn't respond to morphine. And the horrors don't end there. Case studies report that the pain can eventually develop into hyperalgesia, a form of increased pain sensitivity that can last for months. If you're unlucky, you could even end up with muscular atrophy, where your muscle tissues start to thin and wear away around the affected area. Ooh, suddenly these critters are less, huh? And more, ah! Sweet Slow Loris. There's nothing cuter than large round eyes on an animal. If they're blessed with a pair of those, they can get away with just about anything. And no eyes are cuter than those of the slow loris. These pint-sized primates have massive baby-like eyes, which, because they're nocturnal by nature, help them see in the dark. They're not fast movers either, which leaves them almost defenseless. Almost. Slow loris may look lovable, but that doesn't make them friendly. No, in fact, these guys are solitary creatures who will bite you if approached. But before they do, they'll raise their arms over their head. Not to protect their noggins, but to lick their underarms. Bit weird, right? Well, they have glands underneath their armpits that ooze a noxious oil. When they lick those glands, their saliva combines with the oil to concoct a venom. This fills the grooves of their canines, which can deliver a bite strong enough to pierce through bone. The venom then eats the flesh away, leaving the victim with wounds that have almost no chance of healing. One of just two venomous mammals known to man, the other being the platypus, slow lorises hold the distinction of being the only venomous primate. And boy, do they fill that quota. So don't let their adorable appearance draw you in. Or you might have to wave goodbye to your own fingers. Before you do though, why not use those fingers to click on those like and subscribe buttons down below. All done? Great. What have we got next? Pretty puffer fish. Have you ever seen a puffer fish up close before? You can't help but fall in love with the charming little smile and the big eyes plastered on their oddly adorable fishy faces. Usually found in tropical oceans, puffer fish range in size from a single inch up to two feet long. Of course, they're mainly known for their defensive tactic of inflating when threatened or disturbed, like a big spiky balloon full of either air or water. And should the predator dare disturb the puffer fish's peace, these guys turn from cute to killer. These fish are toxic, containing a lethal substance called tetrodotoxin, which to humans is up to 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide. One species that knows this all too well are dolphins. Dolphins have been known to take tiny bites out of the toxic fish, 
Not enough for a lethal injection, but enough to get them high. Yep, dolphins have learned that they enter a trance-like state when they nibble on pufferfish, and will purposely do so just for fun. I guess even dolphins need to find a way to relax. But what if a predator was dumb enough to eat a whole one? Well, scarily, pufferfish are served to humans in some parts of the world, but only after a proper, professional clean. If unwashed, pufferfish toxin will block sodium channels in an organism's neurons, restricting nerve function. If that happens, their muscles will stop being able to control movement, triggering suffocation and heart failure. And there's enough toxin in an average pufferfish to kill not one, not two, but 30 adult humans. And there's no known antidote. So if you're at a restaurant and see pufferfish on the menu, I'd go somewhere else. Unless you fancy ordering dessert from the emergency room. As unexpectedly terrifying as some of these self-defense tactics are, what do you do when it comes to defending your data? How do you protect your details from falling into the hands of malicious data thieves and third-party scammers? Well, this video's sponsor, Private Internet Access, might be able to help you out there. These guys are the world's most customizable and transparent VPN provider because not only do they never store user data, their code is also 100% public, meaning you can take a look under the hood and see just how it works whenever you want. While providing online privacy by changing your IP address, their VPN software also blocks ads, trackers, and malicious websites, as well as working with all major streaming sites, so you can access content from anywhere in the world. What's more, if you click the link down below, you'll receive a special 83% discount, including four months of service for free and a subsequent monthly cost of less than $2, all with a 30-day money-back guarantee. That's a deal. Now, what creature have we got next? Lovely Leopard Seals. Big eyes, little snouts, rolls of blubber. These are the ingredients for one of the world's cutest creations. I'm talking about seals, of course. Leopard seals, to be exact. The third largest seal species in the world, growing up to 1,300 pounds and 10 feet long. With their agile bodies and hefty heads, these seals can reach speeds of up to 25 miles per hour when in the water. So with that size and speed, a single leopard seal could make a formidable foe for a human. But incredibly, they're known to be friendly towards us. Amazingly, it's well documented that leopard seals are wonderfully curious animals and have been known to investigate and play with divers visiting their Antarctic habitat. Considering how cool and fun they seem to be, I don't even know why they've made this list. Oh wait, yep, it just came back to me. While they can be friendly, leopard seals are also very dangerous. In 2003, marine biologist Kirsty Brown was snorkeling in the Antarctic when she was suddenly dragged underwater by a leopard seal. No one knows what provoked this, but by the time the seal was through, Kirsty was 200 feet underwater, and sadly, she didn't make it out of the water alive. Again, looks can be deceiving, and cuteness can kill. So if you ever come across one of these animals, be sure to avoid them, or your fate could be well and truly sealed. Delightful Dolphins It's pretty hard not to love dolphins. They're super sociable, sweet-natured, and intelligent. All characteristics that help make up one exclusively adorable animal. Right? Hmm, you might want to think again. Dolphins may be smiley, but they're also kind of psycho. Because these mammals kill other animals in their droves. For fun. And they've got the tools to do some serious damage. Their beaks can act as bludgeons or clubs, while their sharp teeth are used to slash away viciously at their target. Pods of dolphins have been recorded killing hundreds of porpoises in a single go, but then won't eat any of the carcasses, indicating their murderous urges aren't linked to their appetites. Some dolphins are so psycho, they've even been known to target their own offspring. Off the coast of Scotland, a scientist watched in shock as an adult dolphin picked up its calf and smacked it against the water for nearly an hour. Not only that, but in Virginia, researchers found at least nine dolphin calves bearing the puncture marks of adult dolphin teeth. But it's not just porpoises and their own offspring they target. People have been pulled underwater by dolphins as well. Back in 1999, one woman who fed a small pod of dolphins and then jumped into the water to swim with them was promptly attacked and ended up having to rip her left leg out from the dolphin's jaw. Fortunately, she survived. Just. Cute Koala Now, have you ever noticed that people think bears are incredibly cute? Whether it's pandas, Paddington, or Boo Boo, we just can't resist them. Even Australia's native koalas. 
or should I say, especially koalas. At a little over three feet in height, they look more like teddy bears than real bears. And that's for good reason. Despite being known as koala bears, they aren't actually real bears, they're marsupials. Their diet is almost exclusively based on eucalyptus leaves, which takes a lot of energy to digest, and they can sleep for up to 22 hours a day. And when they're asleep, they look like little furry angels. It's a different story when they're awake though, as they've earned the name koala bears for a reason. They possess claws and teeth, and they do not respond lightly to provocation. Take the case of South Australia's Marianne Forster. Back in 2014, Marianne was out walking her two dogs when one spotted a koala in a tree and raced over. Pulling Marianne along for the ride, the Australian assumed the koala would ignore her. Instead, the koala suddenly pounced on the dogs and then turned its sight on Marianne. It clawed at her leg and bit down so hard she couldn't get it off. After she'd wrestled with the brutal bear and pried its jaws off her legs, Marianne required 12 stitches. The koala probably believed it was in a territorial standoff, but still, you can't help but wonder what would have happened if the koala kept up its attack. Wah! It almost doesn't bear thinking about. Pitahui poison. Do you find birds cute? Not all of them, right? You wouldn't exactly call an eagle or a seagull adorable. Well, there are some birds that definitely have that lovability factor in spades, like the Pitahui bird of New Guinea. I mean, just look at that gorgeous plumage. Who's a pretty bird? If only they weren't the only bird known to man to produce a deadly toxin. And not just any deadly toxin, but trachotoxin, which is gram for gram one of the most powerful natural toxins known to science. It's also the same poison that lends its name to the infamous poison dart frog, but more on them later. As for the Pitahui, the poison was discovered in 1989 when ornithologist Jack Dumacher caught the bird, then touched his face, and suddenly felt his tongue and lips go numb. Jack later discovered that the Pitahuis were getting the patracotoxins from the small melirid beetles they fed on. Secreting the toxins through its skin was how it removed them from its system, a pretty nifty way of dealing with it, while also making predators think twice before targeting them. And as it turns out, overzealous ornithologists. Badass beavers. Building their dams by chewing down trees, beavers are nature's busybodies. While they're hard at work building dams, from afar, they're also damn adorable. Pun entirely intended there. Able to measure well over three feet from head to tail and reaching up to 66 pounds, these charmingly chubby semi-aquatic rodents are utterly harmless if you leave them to their own devices. But if trapped or cornered, another side of the beaver shines through. The near constant use of those super sharp incisors means a beaver's teeth never stop growing. And if the threat is a human, there's nothing to stop a beaver sinking its famous incisors straight into your arm. But hey, you're not gonna die from that, right? Um, no, unless that is the beaver causes serious injury and is carrying an infection. Beavers play host to all kinds of diseases, like tularemia or rabies. Yep. Rabies, the viral disease that infects the central nervous system of mammals, ultimately causing disease in the brain and death. You can get rabies through a transfer of bites, body fluids, or even infected water. So there's a good chance a beaver attack could leave you frothing at the mouth and fighting for your life. Regardless of infection status, however, one beaver attack has been known to be fatal. It's the story of a 60-year-old fisherman in Belarus who, in 2013, met his maker after a beaver bit open an artery in his leg. Some argued the fisherman had provoked the attack by grabbing the beaver, while others said that aggressive beavers were running wild over the Belarusian countryside. Whatever the reason for the attack, I think it's probably safer to steer clear of Belarus altogether. Fancy Frogs Native to the rainforest of South and Central America, Tiny poison dart frogs come in all sorts of dazzling colors. They range between yellow, copper, red, blue, green, or even black. But this isn't for some sort of froggy fashion show. It's all to warn predators that they're dangerous and that despite their cute looks, they are not to be messed with. So what could be so dangerous about a tiny little frog? In that same captivating skin, poison dart frogs store a natural toxin that can paralyze or even kill a predator. In fact, these teeny weeny little frogs are some of the most toxic animals in the entire world. The golden poison dart frog, for example, contains enough toxin to kill 10 adult men. 
that makes them more toxic than pitahui birds, platypuses, or even a partner who asks for your phone password. Well, being totally toxic may not work out for your partner, but it helps these frogs out a bunch. Discounting a particular species of snake who have developed a resistance to it, the frog barely has any predators out in the wild. But still, if you're doubting the lethality of these colorful killers, just know that it would only take a two micrograms, roughly a pinhead amount, of the dart frog's poison to put a man in his grave. Wow, that's more toxic than the latest Shane Dawson drama. Darling Dingoes At a glance, dingoes, especially as puppies, look like a pretty adorable breed of dog that's native to Australia. But if you're an Aussie, you might know that, despite appearances, dingoes definitely aren't cute, because these crafty carnivorous canines can get vicious. Even though they only max out at about 60 pounds, these wild dogs are more closely related to wolves than domestic dogs, making them Australia's largest wild carnivore. This makes them a threat to sheep, young cattle, and young humans. Packs of these dogs hunt together, and while incidences of them attacking humans are statistically very low, since 2002, there have been more than 100 dangerous dingo attacks. Although historically, some have been more fatal than others. Back in 1980, Lindy and Michael Chamberlain Crichton were camping with their nine-week-old daughter, Azaria, and briefly left her alone in their tent. Moments later, Lindy claimed she saw a dingo wander out of the tent and scamper off. Only then did they realize Azaria was missing. After one of the most publicized homicide trials in Australian history, where Lindy and Michael were accused of slaying their daughter and lying about the dingo, the family was exonerated. New evidence did indeed suggest that a dingo had made off with the baby, and sadly, she was never found. Since then, even more dingo attacks on children have been recorded, one as recently as 2021. So remember, dingoes are not dogs. They probably won't play a game of catch with you, unless that game is catch the kid. Happy Hedgehogs For an animal covered in super sharp spikes, hedgehogs have the uncanny ability to act super cute when they want to. These small spiny mammals use their spikes to ward off predators by curling up into a ball and becoming a 360 degree spiky nightmare to deal with. Their spikes, which are made of keratin, the same stuff as human hair and nails, aren't poisonous or barbed in any way, but a wound from them can be fatal to humans. You see, hedgehogs carry a variety of diseases that can infect and seriously hurt a human. But like most garden-dwelling mammals, hedgehogs only carry these diseases in certain circumstances and aren't naturally aggressive. So in general, they don't pose an active threat. But if they're sick, then it's different. If your skin is broken by a wild hedgehog's many spikes, their bites, or their scratches, the victim can become infected with a litany of dangerous things. Things like parasites, bacterial diseases like salmonella, and viral illnesses like rabies. So they may look like weirdly adorable balls of terror, but it turns out those spikes are the least of your worries. Beautiful Blue Ring Few animals are as distinctive as the octopus, with their big brains, three hearts, and famous eight tentacles. Not to mention that in smaller sizes, octopi rank high on the cuteness index. Some are so cute that one recently discovered species was officially named Adorabilis because it's so adorable. Oh look, it tried to hide in its own tentacles. What a cutie. But they're not all this adorably harmless. One of the smallest and cutest of the species is the blue ringed octopus, that despite its invitingly bright coloring and distinctive size, holds a deadly surprise. Just like those poison dart frogs, blue ringed octopi are aposematic, meaning it displays bright colors to warn predators not to mess with it. And just like the poison dart frog, blue ringed octopi produce tetrodotoxin from their salivary glands. Remember how tetrodotoxin works? Well, here's a brief refresher. This deadly neurotoxin will attack your nerve impulses, break them down, and stop your muscles contracting, effectively paralyzing your body. Then it's only a matter of time before your heart and lungs stop working. Yikes. But depending on how the octopus administers this toxin, you might be able to survive. A study recently discovered that when swallowed, tetrodotoxin becomes 50 times less toxic than when it's delivered through other means. This might explain why back in 2010, two people accidentally ate the deadly octopus, but both lived to tell the tale. Either way, I think I'll be avoiding the calamari on the menu from here on. World of Wombats There are a lot of violent, aggressive animals in Australia. Dingoes, huntsmen, and crocodiles, to name a few. 
Aussies know these all too well, but even they might not expect wombats to be on that list. I mean, these massive marsupials are often more than four feet long, but they're totally harmless, right? I mean, they look way too adorable to ever be violent, right? Well, you guessed it. Throw their cuteness aside and wombats are surprisingly violent. If, for instance, a dingo intrudes in its burrow, the wombat will barrel into it, flip it onto its back, and crush it against the roof. Whoa. When threatened, it sounds like these marsupials transform into combat wombats. And the violence doesn't end with dingoes. In 2010, 60-year-old Bruce Kringle stepped out of the caravan he'd been staying in when, out of nowhere, a wombat suddenly attacked him. Bruce tried to get away, but the wombat knocked him back repeatedly, clawing and biting him all over. When the wombat was done, Bruce was covered head to toe in bites and scratches. It's surprising that the usually docile herbivore wombats can cause so much damage. Well, while wombats are cute and cuddly for the first two years of their lives, they live much longer than that with some wombats known to make it to the grand old age of 34. By that time, the animal has grown solitary and aggressive. But hey, doesn't that fade away to saw? If you're doubting just how solitary and aggressive these wubbable wombats become, take the case of a man and his dog from back in 2010. The dog had run down a wombat burrow, which the resident wombat didn't take too kindly to, and tried to crush the dog. Panicking, the owner hit the wombat over the head with a shovel, but that just made things worse. The wombat snapped, knocking the guy over and bit him so viciously that he wound up in hospital covered in infected wounds. Well, they may look like big furry barrels, but it turns out if you're not careful, these barrels will easily barrel you over. Cheeky Chick Now, fulmer birds aren't exactly the cutest birds in the world. While they are related to albatrosses, which is kind of impressive, they're not what I'd call adorable. As adults, that is. Fulmer chicks, on the other hand, are undeniably cute. So fluffy. As a chick, the baby bird is covered in a layer of down feathers, which provides insulation from cold temperatures. It eventually sheds these as it grows, but before then, it's a pretty immobile little lump of fluff confined to its nest. Seems pretty defenseless, right? Well, these babies actually have a secret weapon. If a predator approaches, the chicks repel them by projectile vomiting. If you don't believe me, well, check it out. And that's not just a regular puke either. It's deadly puke. The birds are born with a part of their stomachs called a proventriculus. Here, they manufacture and store a disgusting, stinking, and revolting oil. It's this that the baby birds sick up. And apparently, it smells like someone set a garbage dump on fire. Blech. For predatory birds like sheathbill and skuas, the oil glues the bird's feathers together, so when it takes off to fly, the bird plummets to its death. Even if the bird tries to wash the oil off in the ocean, they only discover they've lost their buoyancy and slowly, but surely, drown. That's one seriously sickening defense mechanism. Which of these animals did you find the cutest? And which one turned out to have the scariest secret? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.